Welcome to Theology Terminology, aka Double T. Caleb Davis here with 1613 Ministries. It is a blessing to have you here with us today. This week's lesson is gluttony and your temple. Now, I'm probably not going to make much friends with this, but do so realize that I am using the Word of God. This is not my opinion, but I do have a strong opinion on your temple and gluttony, but this is the words of God, so therefore my authority is in Him, not in me. With that being said, I'm going to step on some toes today with exposing the secret sin of the Southern Baptists. Gluttony. And you may be like, whoa, 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 you know, back off on that train. But listen, our Baptist motto, and you probably heard it before, is we love to eat. But then, then we got to think back and realize, well, about 60% of all Southern Baptists are either overweight or obese. Ah! That should put us back in our seats and make us think, well, why aren't we taking this seriously? The men of the classic church regarded this as one of the seven deadly sins. Gluttony was taken seriously, but we sure have gotten away from that, haven't we? But the Word of God says that our bodies are temples. Let's go to 1 Corinthians chapter 6, verses 19 through 20. Or do you not know that your body is a temple of the Holy Spirit within you? whom you have from God. You are not your own, for you were bought with a price. So glorify God in your body. When we look at the verse, we realize that we have to be good stewards of what God has given us. Would you not agree? But God has given us a body. So therefore, we must take care of it. Next verse. 1 Corinthians 3 verses 16 through 17. Do you not know that you are God's temple and that God's spirit dwells in you? If anyone destroys God's temple, God will destroy him. For God's temple is holy and you are that temple. The sin of gluttony has some very gruesome language in the Bible, but we don't even consider it a sin nowadays. Nevertheless, it, it is a sin, just like every other sin, but we do not take it seriously. If we destroy the temple, our temple, the temple God has given us, God says He's going to destroy us. Now, of course, it's not necessarily eternal life. If you are a Christian, you are saved by the blood of Jesus Christ, you are going to heaven. But this is giving us a picture of how much we should be considering how can we take care of our bodies? Philippians 3, 18 through 19. For many of whom I have often told you, and now even with tears, they walk as enemies of the cross of Christ. Their end is destruction, their God is their belly, and they glory in their shame with minds set on earthly things. Now, I'm not saying this to go and say, oh, you know, you need to go completely plant-based or go vegan. I'm not, I'm not saying that. You know, some people have chosen that, and, you know, that's them. But going vegan or going on these super diets are not required as a Christian. But guess what? You are required to be as healthy as you possibly can be spiritually and physically. God commands us to be good stewards of what He's given us. And He's given us a body, therefore we must take care of it. You may have heard it said, but it's true. Your body is a machine and it needs the correct fuel. But if you put the wrong fuel in, guess what? You are going to ruin it or possibly even destroy the machine. 
we have to be careful what we put into our bodies, whether that be spiritually, mentally, or physically. Here can be a good motto for you. Eat to live, not live to eat. Notice the difference there. Notice the difference. He calls us to live for Him and deny ourselves of the earthly desires that oh so grip us. So today, take up your cross. Deny yourself. If you claim to be a Christian, then your life is no longer yours to live. You gave it up to live for another life. To live for God and His desires. And His desires are for you to be holy just as He is holy. To love Him. And if you love Him, you keep His commands. And His commands are to be good stewards of what He has given you. Make sure to like and follow 1613 Ministries for more wretched, awesome content just like this. And if you don't, may the Lord bless you and keep you and shine upon your face. To God be the glory forever and ever. Amen.